Happy Sunday, Tampa Bay. We're here with you for another week to talk about the local Tampa Bay real estate market here on the Duncan Duo Show on 970 WFLA. We're here to answer your questions, whether they're about buying, selling, investing, financing, new construction, whatever your question is related to the real estate industry, we'd love to help you. You can call us toll free 1-800-969-9352 in Pinellas County, 461-9352 in Hillsborough County, 990-9352. All of our phone numbers end in 9352 or WFLA. The first couple of callers with questions today are going to win a $25 gift card to the Carpet Store, ForTheFloorOnline.com. Our friends at the Carpet Store do a fantastic job of, of helping clients make flooring selections and replace flooring. So again, our first couple calls are going to get a $25 gift certificate to the Carpet Store. Call in questions uh, again to us toll free 1-800-969-9352 in Hillsborough 990-WFLA and in Pinellas 461-WFLA. Excited to have a couple of guests with us today. We have Sally McFoley uh, from Homes by West, West Bay. Excuse me, Homes by West Bay. Uh, you know, the time change this morning has me a little off. So, uh, and she's the president-elect at the Greater Tampa Association of Realtors. And then uh, our friend Nate Davis from Plant City Mortgages on with us as well to talk about some news and changes in the mortgage refinancing world. And, uh, you know, that, that's where I'm going to get out of the gate today. We're going to talk about the HARP program, Nate, and its expansion to help more homeowners. Um, a couple of weeks ago, and I touched on it in last week's show, uh, President Obama put in a course of action that is more or less removing the 125% loan to value ceiling for people to be able to refinance, get into lower rates without equity. That's correct, yeah. There, there's currently a HARP program out now that's in existence. Um, many lenders do not even offer it, uh, some, some do, and uh, it allows you to refinance your existing loan so as long as you have an existing Fannie Mae or Freddie Mac loan, um, up to 125% of today's value. So if, in other words, if your home's worth 100 grand, you can take out a new mortgage for 125%, $125,000. So uh, you cannot use this money to pull cash out. You cannot use it to consolidate a second mortgage, but you can reduce the rate on your first existing mortgage. Uh, the new program um, is going to help people in Florida especially because you know, while 125% is great, states that are hardest hit like uh, Arizona, California, and Florida, uh, you have we have a substantial amount of homeowners that are way yeah, that's way not going to do it. You know, it's like yeah. half, they, owe, they it's worth half of what they yeah. They say they you know, that's a kind gesture, but we're not even close. And there's right. been some people that can get help. You know, if you bought a home, say in you know, 09 and put down 20%, you know, some of those folks are getting some help from it. But uh, it's going to really open up the floodgates whenever they take this limit off. Yeah, and and I think that it's it's crucial because we talked about it when it, when I had my wife Angela on the show with us last week. We talked a little bit about how it'll prevent a lot of foreclosures. Yeah, it's going to help. You know, it, and then the thing is, you have to be you know currently making your payments on time. And the folks that have been you know weathering the storm and doing the right things and, and you know keep keeping consistent and current with their mortgage despite their loan to value being so far upside down. Yeah, I got a good feeling this program is going to work out well. That those folks aren't the ones that are going to you know refinance and then. Well, you know, and again, it's a it's a it's a growing trend of the government and the banks, you know, trying to be more proactive. Whether or not you agree with it politically or not, it, it's at least you know something more creative to help more people. You know, if you're going to have a goal of helping people, why not do a program where you can actually help some of them? Yeah, and what's nice about this is Fannie and Freddie are already on the hook for these loans. If these loans right. default now, they're eating it anyway. Right. So by doing this, they're saying, hey, let's let them get a lower interest rate, possibly reduce their payment or short, shorten their term. Um, to where they'll be in a more favorable position more quickly. So and, they're, they're not taking on any new risk here. And and what about in turn the other side of it that I thought was uh, valuable was that um, and and forgive me if I'm wrong, but I thought I read something where a new credit credit pulled wasn't going to be needed. It was it was just a matter of making sure they're current on the payments. Is that part of it? Is that correct? Yeah, they're proposed. They have some more details coming out in the middle of this month, but uh, they're they're taking a streamlined approach. And what that means is um, instead of doing like a full underwrite, checking out every single piece of information about the bar like you do on a new loan. Uh, they're pretty much saying, look, you know, if you made your last 12 months payments on time, whatever your income is or it isn't, it's obviously enough because it's working. So uh, they're not going to have as, as much detail in the uh, underwriting process either. And again, the goal being to help more people because the last version of the HARP didn't really do a whole lot. Yeah, I think I think maybe in some states that were nowhere near as hard as hit as Florida, it may have helped some, but definitely it was it was a mere fraction of their projections. I mean, they, they projected the program to help so many people, and it was... You know, in the grand scheme of things, it was a miserable failure as far as how many could uh, take advantage. Of. Right. Anything you can think of for people that are considering this program, or and of course, if you have questions about it, feel free to call us nine nine zero nine three five two in Hillsboro, 
461-9352 to Pinellas. Anything you can think of specifically in terms of guidance you can give people that are looking at doing this? Um, you know, the first thing you need to do is just find out what type of loan you have. Um, you know, the, 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 all these programs that allow you to refinance despite having no equity or even negative equity are dictated by the type of program you currently have. If you have a VA loan, there's a certain set of spe specifications that apply. FHA loan, same way, and then a conventional loan, same there as well. Okay. So, and again, you can confirm that information. I mean, a quick little Google check. Mm -hmm. Like, it's efanniemay.com, Fannie Mae's yeah. website, where you can confirm if you have a Fannie Mae, and I think it's Freddie Mac, and it's F-R-E-D-D-I-E-M-A-C.com. Yeah, you, you can just Google Fannie Mae loan lookup or right. Freddie Mac loan lookup, and it's the first link that pops up. You pop in your address, and it will tell you whether or not those entities own your loan. Awesome. Okay, terrific. So again, uh, heart program. If you're out there and, and you're in the red on your house, you owe more than it's worth, and you know you're you're upset because you're at six and a half percent interest rate. This is a great pro. You can lower your interest rate, lower your payments. Absolutely. And one other one other uh, point, definitely to mention on this is unlike the other existing loans, uh, VA's or FHA loans, where you can refinance uh, uh, your your home despite being upside down, is that this will also allow you to do so if you have an investment home. So even if it's an investment product, you can still do it. Ah, I was yes. not aware of that. Yes. Very and that's cool. really big. We're actually doing a few of these right now for invest investment property owners, and they, they were blown away that they can do it on investment.